There are some kite spots you always hear about, but they just feel out of reach. Well, this year, I finally got to visit Brazil on a downwind expedition with Surf and Sam Fim, and it was beyond even my dreams. So yeah, I did learn a lot. It was just an amazing challenge. Really recommend it 100%. The support from the crew was unreal. I'm, I want to do this again, really. Well, it's absolutely incredible. There's miles of untouched beaches that are just insane. And uh, we got to experience like over 200 kilometers of that. I'm Luke McGillery from Cape Town, South Africa. I have a pretty good first impression of Brazil, then going over to Fortaleza and stopping by Windtown and meeting you guys. You know, all the wind, all the nice, cozy, you know, wooden shacks. So, you know, it's what one would think of, like Hawaii, the coast, you know, the long beaches, the wind. I'd say that was one of the biggest, the coolest experiences of this trip. You know, having Gilly, a pro wave rider, three times world champion, teaching me how to kiteboard and teaching me how to kite surf is like, a privilege. I'm, I'm really lucky to be here. Well, on Surfing Saint Fim, you have done it. I, I think I uh, have uh, spent my money very well. skills not having to worry about staying up wind is so nice if you have a crash or if you drop your kite or if you leave your board you're not really losing ground because you're always going down wind so you're still on your way to your destination and you have all of the time in the world to practice your skills. That was really good to see the people that were struggling in the waves that were ended up finishing the down in the end wave so it was really good just to see everyone step it up a level. One of the coolest things was that there were so many crew on the water to help out if anything happened and there were Land Rovers following along on the beach just in case anything went wrong. So if you needed a pump or water or a different kite or a different board, you could just come to the beach and get it. But if you had an issue out on the water, there were a few people that had the skills and experience that were just there to make sure that everyone is safe and has a great time. I was really excited for this trip because kite surfing is always uh, I, I've always loved kite surfing as a good sport, you know, especially doing the tricks and whatnot, surfing. So yeah, I was really excited for this trip because I'm going to get lots of time, lots of hours. I'm probably going to learn something new, and I already did. I already know how to do strapless on a board. Well, sort of. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. It was definitely rewarding. I'd say it, it felt like an accomplishment. And also, I just enjoyed like uh, later legs, you know, seeing the windmills, like the, the wind, the sand, like the little palm trees, the, the houses. It's just, I want to keep going because it's such, such a beautiful place. You know, surfing in between the waves with pros. Did it get any better than this? I saw them doing the surf in the really shallow water and they were doing great. It was really a moment of uh, really proud dad, you know, seeing their kids accomplish something that um, maybe a week before they didn't, I, I think they even thought that they couldn't make it. Kiting on a big diamond is super fun. You never have to worry about staying up when so you can just smash every single way if you're any kind of jumps you want and just have fun the whole way down. It's hard to put into words what this trip was. It was challenging, it was exciting. It was like discovering a whole new world, both on the culture side and on the kiting side. My hands hurt from kiting so much. My face hurt from laughing so much. And that last sunset when we landed on the beach at the end of the downwinder, that is a moment I will never forget. <laughs>